In a galvanic cell, chemical energy derived from a spontaneous redox reaction is converted into electrical energy. Or to put it another way, a chemical reaction is used to produce electricity. In an electrolytic cell, the opposite happens. An external supply of electricity is used to make a chemical reaction happen that would not otherwise occur. This process of electrolysis is widely used, for example in electroplating and in the production of metals and other chemicals that would otherwise be difficult to obtain. In electroplating, a thin layer of one metal is applied to the surface of another base metal to improve its appearance or resistance to corrosion. For example, electrolysis can be used to coat an object such as an iron spoon with a thin layer of silver. A strip of metallic silver and the spoon are connected to the positive and negative terminals of a battery respectively and dipped into a solution of silver nitrate called the electrolyte to create an electrolytic cell. The iron spoon acts as a negative electrode, providing a source of electrons supplied by the battery. Positive silver ions in solution migrate to the surface of this electrode, called the cathode, where they gain electrons to form atoms of silver. Meanwhile, at the silver electrode, called the anode, silver atoms give up electrons, entering solution as positive silver ions. In a similar fashion, the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride produces chlorine gas and sodium metal. Positive sodium ions gain electrons at the cathode to form liquid sodium metal, while negative chloride ions give up electrons at the anode to form chlorine gas. In practice, this cell must be set up so the sodium and chlorine produced do not come into contact with one another. Otherwise, they will immediately react to form sodium chloride again. What happens when you electrolyze a concentrated aqueous solution of sodium chloride, or sodium chloride dissolved in water? At the anode, chlorine gas is still produced by oxidation. But at the cathode, water molecules rather than sodium ions gain electrons, being reduced to hydrogen gas and hydroxide ions. So electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride produces chlorine gas, hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide. The electrochemical series can be useful in predicting what reactions will occur in an electrolytic cell. Usually, the strongest reductant will react or give up electrons at the anode, and the strongest oxidant will react or gain electrons at the cathode. Water is a stronger oxidizing agent than sodium ions. Or to put it differently, when water molecules and sodium ions are competing for electrons, water molecules will gain them more easily, being reduced to hydrogen gas and hydroxide ions in the process.